So these are a set of four ratchets that come together. If you can afford to buy all these ratchets together, that's what I would recommend. It's really convenient. In my opinion, for what you get, these are pretty much the best value. They're not the cheapest out there. They're not the most expensive out there. Because you're getting all four ratchets at once, it saves trouble having to buy them separate. I wanted to pick a favorite ratchet out of all of these, but every time I just couldn't pick one. And these are my favorite, so I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This is a biased review. I'm a fan. I've used these a lot. I'm a fan. I've had a set of these ratchets stolen in the past, and I bought, I bought the set again. My cousin, he bought a set of ratchets and he bought these. For the cost, it's a really good set. If you were only gonna buy one of these ratchets though, go ahead and buy the half inch ratchet because when you buy the half inch ratchet, you're gonna be able to use this as a breaker bar. Look, and if anybody in the comments say that you shouldn't use a ratchet as a breaker bar, trust me, you can use this ratchet as a breaker bar. You can use this to break lug nuts loose. It's okay, don't buy the fixed breaker bar. I don't really recommend that. I don't think you need that. If you can afford to just buy this ratchet, I don't carry your breaker bar with me because I have this ratchet. Now, over time, the ratchets are not as good as they used to be. This is a pretty stiff, ah, pretty stiff right there. So I'm not a fan of that anymore. What I'll usually do is I'll come in and I'll kind of wiggle it. And then when I wiggle it, it makes it really easy. So probably not the best look. When I'm using them, there's not a lot of backlash. It's pretty easy. I, that being said, this is really tight and over time because i keep my car i keep my tools in the trunk of my car the ratchet the ratcheting mechanism is just not very good i should probably take it apart and grease it i don't really do that i've never done that before maybe i will do it because these ratchets are getting a little gritty speaking of gritty uh, this right here is seized now the truth is this was one of my favorite ratchets i know i have four favorites i really like this ratchet i'm sad that it's seized up. It's seized up because I didn't use it for a while and that's just the way it goes. I can send it in and I'm sure that they will warranty it. That's kind of a hassle. That's why I haven't done that. I really like the long handle on this 3 8 ratchet. This one is buttery smooth. Clearly I use this the most. The switch is, it's the same deal. It's not very, I guess, okay, well this one's a little bit smoother. Usually it's not that smooth to be honest. On this one, this is the smoothest one. This is the smoothest one out of all of them. The flex head does not have a locking mechanism. It uses a detent. I find that in most cases, the detent is strong enough to keep the tool where I want it to be. A lot of times I do find myself trying to put the socket down on something. Maybe it'll flex out whenever I don't want it to, but most of the time I set it where I want it to and I can get in and do whatever I need to do. The flex head on this is really convenient if you need to take lug nuts off of tires because you can have a, a deep well socket on there and then you pivot it out and that gives you offset from the wheel. I really like the shape of these ratchets. It feels very nice and handy. I will say they're very slim and that makes them convenient to get into places, but it kind of gets hard to hold such a slim rat ratchet all the time. If you're doing, if you have a job where you have to do lots of this with your hands, it can turn into a chore holding the ratchet. In comparison to the other ratchets that I've owned, these are absolutely the smoothest with the tightest swing arc. So I can get in there and I just I just wiggle it around and in very tight spaces, I'm able to get nuts and bolts loose. Now, are these the best ratchet? Quantifiably, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. The absolute best ratchet is right here behind you. It's the mm, Milwaukee 3 8 high speed. Link in the description below. You will check the link in the description below. That's the best ratchet if you really wanna buy the best. I really like the stubby ratchet because you might, maybe some of you are a fan of like those palm ratchets. I don't like that. I need a little, a little something to hold on to. And you can get this into all kinds of places and do this and have a lot of like this action right here where you just have this little tiny handle to give you leverage on something in a tight spot. The stubby is very helpful. The main other ratchets that I've used besides these are the Husky ratchets. If you ever go online, you'll see a big, like a big toolbox. It's a mechanic set from Home Depot and it's a Husky tool set. If I can find a link, I'll leave it down below. When I was younger, my dad bought me a tool set from Home Depot and it had Husky ratchets. And looking back, those are pretty high quality. I think if you're gonna buy a, a total tool set, the two drawer or three drawer tool set from Home Depot, the Husky one, 
I think that's a pretty good buy. The other ratchets that I've handled are the ratchets on the tool trucks, like the snap-on ratchets. Now let's talk about that for a second. The snap-on equivalent to this right here is gonna cost you between four and $700. I'm not down with that. I don't care who you are. If you're a mechanic, you shouldn't pay that much for snap-on tools. Snap-on tools, look, at that price, it's for a couple different people. It's for people who need to finance, which in which case it's gonna be even more expensive and you shouldn't finance. You should just not use them. Use those tools, you should use other tools. It's for people that are sponsored. It's for people that are rich and just want very nice tools to work on their own vehicles. That's my opinion. You shouldn't be buying that stuff as a mechanic. Not whenever stuff like this exists. There's no reason. It doesn't make sense. You don't make enough money. They are very nice. They feel very nice. They don't feel as smooth as these though. I will tell you that overall, these feel smoother to me. Now I mentioned that I had had a set of these stolen. I have also broken these on my 3 8 flex head right here. It broke right here taking a nut or bolt off, I don't really remember, and it sheared off right inside of there. I've had to warranty a bunch of gear wrench stuff. It's made in Taiwan, I believe. This one broke and I called and I didn't have to send a picture in, I just called and said it broke and they sent me out this along with whatever whatever else I said I'd broke. It was very convenient. It was really easy. I know that it was easy and I still hesitate to call them because I just don't like dealing with the warranty process for anybody. Another thing to note, if you have a toolbox, these come in a foam case that you can slide right into your tool tray. What ratchets do you use? Are they flex head? How do you like them? Before we go, let's talk about the props in the background. I already showed you the Milwaukee 3 8 ratchet. If you've got a ratchet, you're gonna need a charger for the batteries. Also got the 12 amp battery. Don't buy this unless you know you need it. Over there, you're gonna see you're gonna see the impact wrench. That's my favorite tool. I will say though that the light has started coming on on it. Like, see this, will you do the light? Okay, you see that light? Sometimes I'll just walk by my toolbox. This is all on my toolbox. Sometimes I'll just walk by my toolbox and the light will be randomly on. So I think this is probably gonna have to get sent out here soon. If you're using a ratchet, you're gonna need sockets. Go check out my video on my gear wrench sockets. It's kind of cool having gear wrench ratchets with gear wrench sockets, even though the best ratchet is the electric ratchet. That's what I mainly use. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. 